What is going on guys? Quincy Anunwa here coming back at you with another video and today we're back on the 49ers franchise fresh off of the offseason for game one against the Carolina Panthers. So basically if you guys did not watch the offseason I wish you would have we're going to go over some of the rookies and players that are actually in starting position starting off with Dante Buchanan out of South Dakota looking very very nice we've also got an interesting running back situation in the Wiley brothers Marcus and um Walter Wiley so that's an interesting dynamic there uh Kalan Adkins is still doing what he does as far as other rookies on the field go defensively we have another starter in Derek Winfield Aaron Merritt has been moved to free safety and we have is it Jacorius it is Jacorius Ward the rookie corner out of Nebraska and then we have the nickel corner, Perry Cox, out of Villanova in the nickel. Willis Burdine will remain at cornerback number two. Rashard Robinson has been moved to the four. We also have undrafted defensive tackle beast Jamar Wiggins out of San Jose State. So we're looking to make some big things happen this season. And uh, sliders have been altered to make it a little bit more hard, a little bit more difficult, a little bit harder, I should have said. And uh, these are them. If you want to check it out, play to what I do. It's still going to be, um, you know, like interceptions will happen. Forced fumbles will happen. I'm trying to get it to be like a more realistic, fun experience. So I'm not just getting pounded when we have good players in place. You know, still BS is going to happen. Like Jimmy G is going to miss easy throws. I have the quarterback accuracy fairly low, so that does happen. Um but all we can do is try to get the best entertainment for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I know I'm going to have fun playing it. A player to look out for, Dante Buchanan is a cheat code. He was unbelievable in preseason. Hopefully you guys saw that game. Uh, if you did, then you know. But if this is the first episode for you guys in the 49ers franchise or first episode uh, and you didn't see any of the preseason action, this is your first time seeing some of these rookies, right on your screen, Dante Buchanan is a name to look out for. But let's go ahead and jump into this game. So a lot of people, as we're going to kick off here to start season number three, live in Santa Clara, Brandon McManus is the sole starting kicker for us now. Uh, I mean, I guess there was always one, but we had uh, Robbie Gold started a few games for us last year. But um, there is deception among the ranks, as uh, a lot of people want Joey Cummings not to be the starting running back after he had a 1,000-yard season. Quarters have also been changed to 10 minutes, by the way. But after he had 1,000-plus yards and 10 touchdowns rushing last year, people don't want Joey Cummings to be the starter. They want Marcus Wiley. Others want Walter Wiley. The stream was going crazy. But, I mean, that's a dynamic over the season. I plan on playing more games this season as I'm just particularly excited about this series now. As it's going to be a play action. Ruben Foster feels fast. We're going to get him going after Cam Newton. He's going to spin past one, but is wrapped up by Aaron Lynch just past the line of scrimmage. And that is going to be a completion. This is what I'm talking about. Quan Alexander delivers a gigantic hit, but it appeared to be Devin Funches who holds on there. It's a screen. Get over there. Quan Alexander in pursuit, and Christian McCaffrey tackled from behind. Maybe he got one. All right, we got Walter Wiley. Numbers have been changed from the preseason, by the way. Walter Wiley now wears number 22. And uh, his brother, Marcus, I believe it's 34. We'll definitely see, uh, definitely see a little bit of him this game. We have about seven minutes to go here. In quarter number one, on our first offensive drive of the year, first possession, we're going to step up with Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to run, and Jimmy Garoppolo actually dives. What are you doing, Jimmy? I tried to slide there. Also move the camera. I think I like this angle a little bit better. As we're coming out here on second and five. Joey Cummings is the back, and we're going to throw that ball quickly. It's Jonu Smith who holds on down to the 41. Jimmy G, perfect on the day so far on one pass, 16 yards. We're going to try to be way more careful with the football uh, this year. I want to limit turnovers as we're going to throw that ball. I said we're going to be careful, and that ball's nearly intercepted on the tip. Looking for the rookie out of, I don't, South, South, Mm, South mm, something? South Dakota? I don't remember where he's from. It's irrelevant. As Joey Cummings is going to get his first handoff of the year. And he has space. Going to spin this out to the right. Joey Cummings trying to use his speed. James Bradbury is going to uh, 
Stop coming there. Cummings, excuse me, I misspoke. First and 10 as, yep, number 34, Marcus Wiley checks in the game. The rookie out of somewhere, I'm sure. As we're going to throw that ball. Jimmy G on the run. Can't find Josh Gordon. Kalan Adkins now in the game. That's an interesting look. As we're going to roll out here to the left, looking for an option. We're going to throw that ball. Kalan Adkins. He keeps his feet in bounds. Touchdown. He just kind of moonwalked to the side. I don't know what he did a Michael Jackson little thing. Jimmy Garoppolo throws an absolute dime. And this one, as I feared, is going to a booth review. Of course, we can't see his feet on a booth review. The only thing that matters. It looks like he got the drag down. Definitely secured the catch. Went through with it. But did he get the feet down is the question. Here's the referee with the call. I'm going to skip this. They're saying yes, touchdown. I'm telling you, Kalan Adkins comes out here and he makes plays. First drive of the year for San Fran. Last two and a half minutes, seven plays, 79 yards, and a touchdown for Kalan Adkins. He's going to play a big part in this series. He got a little bit better over this past year. He was a de uh, developmental draft pick. He developed a little bit. He's been a player that's made big plays for us in the past, and we're hoping for more of the same. It's going to be third in inches. Big stop here. Big stop here, defense. Force a punt. This will be huge. Danny Vitale is the motion man. Ruben Foster trying to get there. Can't. Aaron Lynch tackles him. Did he get it? Fourth in inches. Let's go, defense. This is going to be a fun year. This is going to be a fun year from this 49ers team. If we can stop offense. I know the Panthers offense isn't the best. Cam Newton's a threat. Christian McCaffrey's a threat. Kelvin Benjamin is even potentially a, th a threat, but, you know, defense stepping up. We got some playmakers out there. I mean, it's about time. As Walter Wiley, another playmaker, a rookie, a second or third round pick. Walter Wiley down the sideline. Tries to back juke there and goes down at the 22, but what a return from the rookies. He throws it into number 52's bread basket. The savagery. He says, here, take this. And just return it on your entire team. See if anybody can make something happen. As we're actually going to throw there to the rookie. No. A little behind him. I mean, that linebacker, it's Luke Keekley. I didn't even realize. Um, probably should have put two and two together on that one. Uh, he got back there in such good position. And was able to uh, deflect that pass. But, I mean, I just didn't expect him to make stride with Dante Buchanan there. But we're going to go up 10 nothing regardless. We're in a good spot. Come on. Make that stop. Ruben Foster. That's a tackle for loss. Christian McCaffrey has, has absolutely nowhere to go. He's had absolutely nowhere to go on this defense. And, of course, we've invested heavy with the front seven. I mean, Solomon Thomas is a beast. Wiggins is a beast. DeForest Buckner is a beast. Aaron Lynch is okay. But then Quan Alexander, Reuben Foster. I mean, these are some of the best players at their position across the league uh, in this particular franchise. So, I mean, we should be getting these stops. Is Christian McCaffrey going to spin out, too? They're going to run the ball on second and nine. There's Ruben Foster on the shed. Christian McCaffrey again. Nowhere to go. No gain. It's third and nine. All right, let's make a stop. Big third and nine here. We could really go ahead here if we stop them. That's over the middle. It's caught by Curtis Samuel. I don't think he got that. That's going to be fourth and one. Fourth and inches. Aaron Merritt comes up big with the tackle. And they're going to attempt a long field goal. We're going to get back there with Ruben Foster, I think. This is a long field goal. I don't think he has this. Is that Greg the leg, though? That ball is wide. That is wide right. It is no good. This is a... That was Phil Dawson. Hook him horns, but... I'm glad you missed. Third and three. Let's find time. Let's make the right throw. We're going to throw to the flat. I'm pressing the button, man. Mario Addison brings us down. Jimmy G sacked in the backfield. And we're going to be forced to punt for the first time today. This was an opportunity to go up 17. 13 at worst. But now, I mean, this is still a very big, uh, very much a ball game, I should say. If he's recognized as a cover two, we're in trouble. It's going to be a play action. And I'm not over the middle. He's going to the flats. It's Obi Melifonwu. Can't wrap up. Big hit from Willis Burdine, I'm pretty sure. That ball was just soaring out of bounds on the fumble. We need Obi to bring him down, though. Olsen is a motion man. Going to go back. We're going to try to hit that gap. It's Christian McCaffrey up the middle. He has positive yardage for the first time all day, it seems. 
Eight rushes for 14 yards. That's less than two per carry. That is not good. Olsen in the motion again. It's going to be a pass this time, though. Trying to get over there. He's rolling out. Get after him. That's a sack. It's Richard Robinson who brings him down. Second and 13. Who would have thought that that'd be our first sack of the season? A cornerback. I'll take him any way we can get him. Devontae Booker's had the most successes at running back today. But he has nowhere to go. Swallowed alive by Reuben Foster. And that ball is perfectly thrown to Terrence Williams. Obi Melifon will capitalize that time. But he was wide open. Oh, what a tackle. Derek Winfield brings Christian McCaffrey down behind the line. They have not been able to run for anything this game. There's nowhere to go. Bad turns even worse for the Carolina Panthers after a false start. It's going to bring up third and 13. As Cam Newton, that maybe looked like a screen there. And he's going to throw that ball. It's wide open to Curtis Samuel. Why is Jimmy Ward still on this team? It's Jacorius Ward. It's not even Jimmy Ward. It's a rookie out of Nebraska. First round pick, Jacorius Ward. Who maybe gave that one up. Another crucial false start, potentially, as they are moved back yet again. I guess that kind of cancels the offsides here. It's second and goal. Trying to get an interception with Ruben Foster. Had 10 last year. And that's over the middle. And he hangs on. Terrence Williams, who is this? He's held in... Brought in some amazing catches so far through hits from Quan Alexander. That's at least two that I've counted. Third and goal. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop here. He's going to be throwing. And he's sacked. Is he? We're not getting credit for it. I don't even know who would have brought him down. Carolina's going to get the field. We're going to call a timeout. Jesus. Know the situation, guy. What are you, stupid? All right, we can score in 43 seconds. We just need some playmakers to go out there and make some big plays. We're going to throw that ball. Dante Buchanan, I think it's his first catch of the game. He's got some good speed to him, though. He's going to step out of bounds, and he could have even gone more. Dante Buchanan out at the 43, though. 24 yards after the catch on that one. We're going to try to dial up a screen on second and 10. Hopefully it's there. We're going to throw it. It's Dante Buchanan. Give me a block. Dante Buchanan breaking tackles. He's down at the five. I'm telling you, he is a playmaker. If he wasn't tired, that's a touchdown. Three receptions, 70 yards for the rookie so far. And that is just killing it. Play action to Joey Cummings. We're going to roll out. We're going to look for Dante. It's not on the mark, Jimmy. With no timeouts, so we're just trying to throw that ball so quickly as to avoid a sack. A sack is the worst possible outcome here. So we're going to roll out with Jimmy Garoppolo. Find something. Jimmy Garoppolo, baby! Touchdown! They covered everybody but couldn't account for the quarterback. And we're going up 17-3 before the half. Unreal scenes here. Live in Santa Clara, California. All right, halftime recap so far. I mean, what can I say? They might have been a higher overall than us, but when you really look at the way they've played it, where are we a low overall? In our secondary? On our offense? Maybe offensive line? Is Dante Buchanan going to return kicks here? Um, but they keep running the ball. They haven't exposed our secondary because they keep running the ball, and our strength is in our front seven. And we've been shutting the run down all game. And then on offense, our wide receivers aren't phenomenal, but we do have potential, uh, which is the big thing. As Sanchez Heaney has not been really involved at all. I'm going to throw that ball away. But he plays slot. We haven't really come out in a lot of slot formations. Sanchez Heaney is a guy I want to get involved. We're going to step up with Jimmy Garoppolo. We're going to give Sanchez Heaney a shot. Make a play, buddy. Sanchez Heaney, no way! He caught it! That's what I'm talking about! Get your playmakers involved. And Sanchez Heaney, 51-yard touchdown as he mossed a Carolina defender. Unreal scenes. This is not the difficulty, guys. This does not happen. It's simulation. The catching isn't particularly high. Sanchez Heaney is just that good. And we're up 24-3. to three. Oh, Sliders need to get changed. I told you, I made the sliders harder. You saw them. Um, this, is, this is fun. And Carolina's just not matching up well. We're playing well on offense. Granted, that one's a 50-50 ball. 
We happen to come down with it. Uh, that's just how it is. Ruben Foster. That's a play action. I can tell. Get after Cam Newton. Throws to the flat. I mean, that's all they can do. But it's another third and three. And we've seen a lot of third downs for the Panthers so far today. As Cam Newton going to run. And he did not get that first down. Tell me you didn't drag him forward. Jamal Wiggins makes the stop and forces the punt. Fourth and inches. We've seen inches so often today, but we've stopped them. And that's when it matters. You know, it's not the... Uh, the size of the boat it's the motion of the ocean i don't i don't know what is that punt no no don't 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 do that what are you doing walter that's a rookie mistake and we're back out here on defense is that a run it's a play action it's a read option very well done from the panthers but the ball's loose aaron merritt forces it loose and it's recovered by the panthers greg olsen down to the two what a good style Finally hit it with the read option. I committed totally to the run. Forgot that one was in the playbook. There is absolutely nowhere to go against this front seven. You have to figure out different ways to score. And that might be one of them. Obi Melifon will lays a massive hit. Telvin Benjamin down to the one. Carolina might go for it here. They probably should down 24 to three. They're going to make a 24 to six likely with this field goal here. But they got to score points if they want to stay in this ball game because it is getting away from them. That three doesn't really help. Second and six. Back to Joey Cummings. Maybe we should be a little bit more patient with the run. Getting some going here. We've only handed the ball off five times. I thought it was way more. And he's averaging five per carry, which is a very, very respectable uh, margin. As Chukwiski Tart is on the Panthers now. Former 49er as Marcus Wiley's checked in the game here on third down. Marcus Wiley going to have space. Lowers the shoulder and Bowles went over. Red Rover, Red Rover. That's maybe Marcus Wiley's nickname. Lowers the shoulder and bowls one over. Marcus Wiley is a San Francisco 49ers Red Rover. There's potential there. We're going to roll out here. I'm going to throw that ball to Kalan Adkins. He makes the catch. What a throw from Jimmy Garoppolo on the run. Kalan Adkins, not a particularly good route runner. Excellent jump ball receiver. But he gets open on that one. Second and five, back to Joey Cummings. Joey Cummings, excellent blocking from Dante Buchanan on the outside and on the inside from other members of the 49ers team. And Joey Cummings has his first touchdown on the season. We're going to go up 31-6. to six. Carolina has had no answer for what we're dialing up on offense. Carolina might want to try stretching the field. They have not got anything going so far with the run. And Cam Newton going to run. Aaron Lynch trying to wrap him up and finally does. Gets the sack. Carolina, maybe the game on the line here as they need a first down here on fourth and three. Keep Cam Newton in the pocket. Are they going to hand the ball off here? Because it's a pitch. Someone get there. It's open grass. Christian McCaffrey. Uh, smell that green grass. Chris Crack of the bat. Man, it's going to be back. Devontae Booker's checked in the game. That was the first real successful run we've seen all day. There have not been many successful ones. As that ball is outside, the rookie linebacker, Derek Winfield, exposed a bit in coverage there. And they've been able to get completions to that right side of the field. You see a lot of rookies over there. Jacorius Ward. You see Derek Winfield. You see a younger player in Obi Melifon with strong safety. They just don't go back to it. And now they are. Derek Winfield says, hey, you can throw underneath me all day. Jacorius Ward is going to be there for the tackle. He has seven. And they haven't been able to do anything going underneath. They're just, with the speed of this defense, which is now a strength of this team, there's a lot of speed out there. Um, they just haven't been able to get anything going. And Marcus Wheaton outside, Perry Cox in coverage, wraps him up. But there's not much you can do. You got to expose the weaknesses of the team. And it's a fast team that doesn't particularly cover well in the secondary. They don't cover poorly, but it's not their strength. That's how you have to beat us. And Carolina has not been doing that. Is Cam Newton going to take off? Huge hit from Quan Alexander. Give me the ball. Put it on the ground, Cam. It's default false start sliders. It's third and goal from the six. They're back to where they started after the first false start. Let's make a play, baby. That's a run? Nowhere to... You can't do that. You can't. Are you kidding me on third and goal? Absolutely not. 
I guess they were in four down territory. But, I mean, it's not going to help them. They need to start going out the, after the uh, end zone a little while ago. Clock is ticking. It is not in their favor. But Kelvin Benjamin, I mean, I told you, our weakness, it's particularly with the safeties and OB Melifano and Aaron Merritt, you know, never played safety before this year. We're trying him out there. Kelvin Benjamin gets a touchdown. Just beat him on an easy, easy in. Easy out there, it might have been. I, I don't know where he lined up. But regardless of what it was, wide open. Wide open for the touchdown. That's the way they needed to beat us, and they haven't done that the entire game. Which, I'm not complaining. Onside kick is recovered by Arthur Brown. And that will likely be, I would say, the beginning of the end. But I think we've seen this for a long time. We don't have many more yards in them this game. We've just capitalized on all of our opportunities. We haven't really made any mistakes. We punted once. But, I mean, we've been there, been safe with the football, and just haven't given the Panthers an opportunity to get back in this game. Ever since they went down early, they have not had an opportunity. Second and ten, we might take a shot. We might take a shot! It's a blitz off the side. Alex Anzalone going to bring down Jimmy Garoppolo. Should have probably been running there, but... We saw an opportunity in press coverage. And Dante Buchanan had his man beat. He did. In press, had his man beat. We're going to come out with a very similar play. So you can have time. And we're going to throw that ball up. No! I don't have the time. Mario Addison with a sack. His second and a half of the game. And we're going to have to punt. That is not a successful drive. That is the worst one of the game by far. Oh, he's going to expose me in coverage. That's fair. Ball's loose! It's recovered by Quan Alexander. Breaks one. He gets tackled by Greg Olson. What a clutch forced fumble. I don't know who forced that, but that's a play. We'll see at the end of the game. But that is the first turnover we've managed to force. And actually, I mean, we forced fumbles, but... First one we've actually gotten. As that one's wide open, it's George Kittle. Show off the wheels. Stiff arm. Can't do it. They're suggesting a punt here, but I think we can drill this field goal with Brandon McManus. Wind is blowing 13 miles per hour in her face. I'm going to attempt it anyway. And that kick is up and good. 34 to 13. I know I didn't manage the clock well there. The game could have been over. Uh, but, you know, we're trying to see some of these players. This week one, we crushed them 34 to 13. And, uh, you know, we want to see our running back, see what they can do. Oh, no. No, no, no. And I dove with Aaron Merritt by accident. Kelvin Benjamin got a touchdown. I tried to dive with my other corner, but he already dove. And it didn't switch on to him because of that. And they actually score. Final score is going to be 34 to 20. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know why they're trying to onside here. You can't score 14 points in four seconds. It's actually not possible. We are not going to kneel the ball here. Two seconds to go. We're going to run it. Didn't work out in our favor. Joey Cummings lost yardage. But that's the game. And you know what? It was a successful one. Cam Newton looks like he torched us. He didn't really. And that last play was extremely fluky. Jimmy G, I think, had a really good game. 11 for 17, 243, and two touchdowns. I, th I still think he played better than Cam Newton. I think he did. I mean, way fewer attempts for Jimmy. We didn't really have a lot of time on offense. We were just efficient. Um, it is what it is. So Christian McCaffrey had seven catches. Two touchdowns for Kelvin Benjamin, one for Sanchez, and he one for Kalan Adkins. Yardage was led by Kelvin Benjamin. Dante Buchanan, three for 70. Blocking, sacks allowed from Zach Kubiak, VJ Poole, and Josiah Mahaffey. Defensively, you know, a lot of tackles. Tackles for loss, five for Ruben Foster, two for Jamar Wiggins, not Jamal. From San Jose State. Uh, Jacorius Ward, Nebraska. Yep. Derek Winfield, Nebraska. I was right on that one. Perry Cox, Villanova. Who was I looking for? It was the offensive guys. I want to see that real quick. Where is... Dante Buchanan from South Dakota. I was right with that one. I think I came up with that. Uh, and I wanted to see... Kalan Atkins is Akron. In Ohio. And since you've seen San Diego State. Defensively, sacks from Mario Addison. Richard Robinson got one. Aaron Lynch got one interceptions we have none in the entire game and then force fumbles i'm curious to see this jacorius ward got one obi melifon will go on and aaron merrick got one recovery is only from quan alexander though 
But that's going to be it for the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for the video. And I'll see you in the next one. I plan on playing a lot of these games this season. So we'll see how it goes. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.